friends, it's Sherry. How are you doing today? I'm here to work on uh, this journal. Uh, the other one, the other cover with the snowman on the front, we kind of finished that one the other day, but I didn't finish this one. I, you know, we made the spine. This was the one with the coil. We made the new spine. And then I said I wanted to cover this and this and this, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I looked through my scrapbook paper. Uh, let's do the back first because I'm pretty excited about the back. <laughs> I found, I looked through my scrapbook paper and you know I said I thought I was out of scrapbook paper and then I found a, found some. So I found um, some beautiful, I didn't know I had any left, some a graphic 45. And look at this pretty picture here. Isn't that the cutest ever? <laughs> you know, graphic 45. And so I was looking for a piece to put here. And I thought I was going to have to maybe do a little piece here, a little collage here or something. But I found this, a nice, big, beautiful piece that I cut out of a scrap, piece of scrapbook paper here. And it fits over here. See, it matches this green plaid. It looks good with the red. So let me show you. I'm going to glue it down right here. Won't that be beautiful? It looks like a front cover. <laughs> but it's going to be a pocket. See, this is the front, and it has a beautiful front cover already. That's how it was. And now it's going to have a beautiful back. So I don't think I need to do anything but glue it down. Got my Fabri-Tac here. And so, still working on this same bottle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just want but I do want to make it into a pocket. So I'm going to just put glue here, here, and here. So let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited. This is going to look so pretty. And then I have some other paper picked out for those two pa pa um, places in the front and back cover that I want to uh, cover. Yeah, so on my I think my last video I stopped and took my, because I'm getting toward the end of this Fabri-Tac, I stopped and took the cover off, you know, this nozzle to look because it's been so hard to squeeze. And I thought for sure it was just clogged up or something, but it wasn't. So I just have to kind of squeeze hard, but I don't want too much to come out, so I'm not squeezing that hard, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but I want enough on here because all that's holding this down is just going to be a little bit around the edges here and nothing in the middle since it's a pocket. So we'll make a tag for this later, but right now we're just making a pocket and we're making this we're covering up all of this. This is a dear friend from the, from the edit, you know, people that wrote the book. This is a picture of them and a barcode there. It's all covering up all of that. So I'm so excited. Okay. So it's going right here. Kind of in the middle and just covering up all that stuff. And so pretty. It matches so. Yeah, I didn't realize this graphic 45 matched this whole look of this, the colors of this recipe book so nice. I was like amazed when I pulled it out. I was like, oh my goodness. Can't get any more perfect than that, right? <laughs> so I think this will be a neat little pocket or a neat big pocket on the back and it's very pretty. You don't even really realize it's a pocket, but it is. I don't, let's see, I do have something to, well, it might not fit in there, but see, yeah, it'll be a nice pocket. Oh, that almost fits in there. A little bit narrower and it would, narrower and it would fit in there. Okay, so that's going to dry now. I'm going to leave that to dry. Let me, uh, where's my little scraper? I cleaned up my death, my table here. It was getting a little overloaded with stuff, and I don't like that. So took a few minutes and cleaned it up, and now I feel ready to go again. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Very nice. Okay, let's let that dry. I'm going to work on the inside. So on the inside, I was trying different papers, and I noticed I had one piece of paper that I noticed was the same colors as this. It was just actually black and white, if you look at this right here. The words in this little frame right here is black and white, so it's like green. This is what color the book was right here. I didn't do anything to this, so I had the green, I had the red. And then it has a black frame here and then the, the print. So I want to cover up the print. I kind of want to keep all the frames. So I found this. This is not graphic 45. This is another scrapbook paper I have. And this one is 
uh, from the paper pack I used on the other journal, but it has, I have a couple of these, and this is like chalkboard, you know? So let me cut off this bottom piece here so I can, I just like to be able to see what I'm actually working with because that piece is not counted. So let me take that off. Is it, it's colored on the back, so I might save it for a moment, see if I need to use it. But I thought that would be cool because it has this black and white frame and it's black and white here and that all looks fine but it doesn't I don't like what it says here it's just like um, you know this is uh, like little notes from people who have bought this book and you know how they like it and everything and this is a note from I guess the people that wrote it again with the phone number and stuff so I just thought you know I really don't want that there so I think these are gonna be two pockets too in here like so you would normally have a pocket in the front in the back but they're gonna be two big pockets and just fit inside these little frames right here so I'm gonna cut it to fit here okay that's a fold for that one and I wonder if that same size would fit over here so then I'll cut all the way across oh this one's actually a little smaller so that that'll work because I'm going to cut this one all the way across and then I'll cut it down to fit the back cover. You know what I mean? I'll cut a piece smaller from this same piece I'm cutting right now. You'll see in a second if that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Alright, so. This does have an up and down because it has words on it. So, it would be like this fitting inside this frame so let me let me I want it to fit exactly inside this frame little frame so it'll kind of look like it was always there you know what I mean it I think that I think it really will so I'm gonna fold this right to the frame right there so I'm gonna cut that I was going to start working on the pages and I would realize, oh, I haven't really finished this front cover yet. So I thought, well, let me go ahead and do this and then I'll start working on the pages for both books, hopefully. Yeah, I've already got some ideas on the pages. I pulled out um, this I found with my scrapbook paper right here. Pretty stationary. I can just fold that in half and have pretty paper. And I'm going to um, color the back, though. Before I put it in the book, I'm going to put, I like to spritz color or some sprays or something on there. So I'm going to, I'm going to fool around with some color on the back of that. So it's not just plain white. Oh, this goes over here. Okay. So it fits in there. Yes. Perfectly. So you know, look like it all, it's always been there. Where's my Fabri-Tac? Let me get this glued down. And so this is going to be a pocket. Get off of me. Yeah, this is going to be a pocket, so we're just going to glue on three sides here. And we can decorate this further, like if we want to put some little clusters here or whatever later, I, which I can see myself doing. I just want to get this part done and then go from there. Like I can always decorate later, right? Add some little goodies and embellishments and things. In fact, I've already pulled, I'll show you what I pulled out that could be a possibility with the gra graphic 45 paper. There's some little like postage stamp looking things that would be perfect maybe on some of this in this journal. I'll show you that before I let you go, uh, you know, so you can see what's coming in the future. <laughs> okay. So that's going to go there as the front pocket. Let me see. I might have to get my baby wipes out. Yeah, let me get my baby. Let me get my baby wipes out real quick. I got a little bit of extra glue there. That I would like to wipe off. Okay, and I can wipe my hands off too. Okay, and then smash this down. Get my little. In here okay 
so then we have our pocket right here okay so we'll let that dry and we'll do the back okay so here is where's the piece I just cut from yeah I just used this and it goes like this upright so I said this one was smaller so let's make a little cut right here to cut this one down to size so it fits inside the frame here it's a smaller piece so it's a little bit harder to fold this is cardstock <laughs> so okay I'm gonna cut right there strip to keep okay let's see well, look how this turned out this turned out really pretty it says happy holiday right there let's see how this one's going to turn out I'm going to cut this piece right here or this piece right here either way is fine I don't want to try to cut any certain piece because then I'll start wasting paper and this one actually goes under the fabric this one the whole one whole frame was outside of the fabric so and it, this paper did not go over the fabric the new paper i put on well, let me see if i want this to go over the i think i want it to go i want it to be a nice pocket nice big pocket but i don't want it to be too skinny so i think it's going to need possibly to go over the paper I'm going to cut it to go over the paper, and then if I don't like it, I could always cut it smaller, you know what I mean? Okay, let's try it. Let's just experiment a little bit here. See how we like it going over the fabric, and if we don't, we'll cut it smaller. <clears throat> Sorry, if I'm talking quiet, I'm kind of like thinking at the same time here and talking, and <laughs> probably not talking loud enough. Okay, let's see how that looks kind of don't like it going over the fabric you know what I mean like I feel like I need some trim here which I could put on later but uh, I really don't like it going over the fabric yeah I don't like it going over the fabric I just don't like that okay let's go ahead and cut that off and cut it right there go it'll go right up to the fabric I think and that'll be fine that'll be all right because it, you can still put a ticket, I mean a tag in there. It'll be, a, it'll be a thin one, but yeah, I like that better. I didn't like that going over there. Okay. Well, you know what I could do? Hold on. Let me think about this for a second. I could make it this way. That's what I'll do. I'll glue it here, here, and here, and the pocket will be here. And then we can have a little tab sticking out here or something to make a tag or you know, drawing card to come out this way. That will work. Yes, I like that. Okay, let's do that. So here, here, and make sure I put the Fabri-Tac on the right side. <laughs> you know how that is. Okay, so we're putting it over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a thin line, because I don't want to take up I don't want my glue to take up my pocket. You know how if you put too much glue on, it starts taking up your pocket room. <laughs> Got to be careful about that. Been there, done that. <laughs> okay, this is looking good. I love it. I'm glad we decided on the side. That will work out perfect. That will be really nice to have something. And it'll be different, you know. Side, side tuck. Side pocket. Okay, wet wipe. My glue is coming, oozing out here. So let me wipe that off. Okay, and then we're going to get our little swiper here. I have glue over here on this side and glue down here and no glue over here and it'll be like this little pocket isn't that cool all right I love it okay so that's what I wanted to do with you today uh, I so um, well, let me show you I said I would show you these little um, 
other graphic 45 little possibility of uh, embellishments here. They're so pretty. Let's see these little stamps. I've got these little stamps. A little card here. I've got this Merry Christmas. All these pretty little things here for, um, they have numbers on them too. Isn't that cool? Three, two, five, three, two, five. Are they the same? No. Okay, so anyway, this is what it looks like on the back. This is my other graphic 45 that I pulled out. I think I have a couple more pieces uh, in my stash, but I didn't pull them out yet. But this is my other graphic 45 that I have as possibilities for use. And these match this journal. And my other paper, like this one, matches the other journal. So I have lots of paper, thank goodness, for both journals. So, so exciting. So anyway, that's it for today. Here's what we did. Beautimus. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And then the inside pocket. So it's coming together slowly but surely. So I'm going to get this started working on the pages. And I do want to put maybe a little cluster or something down here maybe. And I could put a cluster. Let's see, this needs to be open, but I could put a little cluster here somewhere or even up here or something so I'm gonna look around I don't think those stamps go with this let me look at those again see I don't think the stamps go with the black and white but I'm gonna get them cut out and then I'll see be able to see more of what these will go with you know what I mean so uh, I hope you enjoyed today's pr progress and I will see you next time thanks for watching and have an awesome day happy crafting <laughs>